Yes, the yellow one. When I meditate, uh, when I start to focus my awareness on the third eye, my eyes roll up in my head. Sometimes it's okay. Yeah, what? Your eyes, what? My eyes will turn. Turn upward, yes. Turn upward, and sometimes uh -huh. it's okay. Sometimes it makes it darker so I can concentrate if the lights are on. Yeah. But sometimes they go too far and force my eyes open. Uh huh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I shouldn't try and stop it. No, no, no. Because my eyes will open. Yeah, I know. I know. Sometimes it couldn't open also. Depends. Yeah. Yeah. So just leave it's it just involuntary. So when the soul leaves the body, the, the eyes turn upward. You don't see that dead people? The eyes turn upward? If you observe them, dead people are like this. <laughs> right? Yeah, because the soul left the body and just, it just drove up, and then by the way, the physical body is affected as well. So the physical body becomes morbid and the eyes turn upward and stay there. So that's why St. Paul said, I die daily. And uh, Jesus said, whoever forsakes life will attain eternal. Yeah, that's what it is. So when my eyelid opens, should I leave it, just leave it alone leave or should it I open. close it? Leave it okay. open. If it's uh, involuntarily, it will close in its own time again. If it's uncomfortable and you can close, then close it again. But then it will open again. <laughs> Depends. You see, that's when you die. You see? You die. It's like that. But you don't feel it. You don't feel like you're dying. Because you should not be so frightened by the spiritual experience. The, the way of God is very gentle. You see? That's how dying is. But we die while living. So when we die truly, it's just like that. We just ease into the kingdom of God, ease into the light, yeah? Without feeling pain, without feeling that we left anything at all, okay? Also, uh, frequently, um, immediately when I close my eyes, I get a uh, kind of a ring of light that starts at the peripheral of my vision and then comes in and flashes just for a second. Mm -hmm. What can I do to stabilize that and make the light stay on because it flashes and then goes off? And gone, huh? Yeah. Wow. What a pity. No, it's just a <laughs> concentration problem. But never mind. Whatever it is, just let it be, okay? Don't okay. panic and don't try anything too hard. Okay. If you can concentrate longer, it will stay. But it's before I even try to concentrate. I, I know, just close my eyes. I know, I know. That's a natural concentration. I don't mean you can do it with your mind even. Uh. Yeah, it's just when everything is easy, it's off, alone, then the light appears. And just because we're not used to it yet, it comes and goes, it comes and goes. It's frustrating, but that's why you have to do it every day, or else I tell you, initiation and let's die, you know, finished. Huh? Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. I'm glad you, you have a good experience already. Huh? Okay. Thank you, Master. Okay, which one of you? The elder one? Master, uh, the sound I hear, I can also hear at a lower volume when I'm not practicing Kuan Yin. It's okay. Is it acceptable to concentrate on that while I'm working and things like that? Yes, if you can work at the same time, yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, off and on, you know, whenever you can afford, it's good, it's good. It, 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 it calms your mind, it makes you feel good. Yeah. The young one? Uh, hi, Master. Um, can you oh. tell me how um, a non-traditional initiation affects a traditional in initiation? What I mean is like someone who gets initiated when they're dreaming. Huh? I've, heard, I've read that, that some people, they, they want it so much and that the master initiates them, you know, without being in the initiation process. Mm -hmm. You have that? Yeah, I experienced that. It's all right. You also initiated now traditionally. I know, but I had a I had a really good experience when you know in the tra without tradition. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then at, at the traditional initiation, you didn't have anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's okay. It's okay. all right. Don't worry about it. Okay. It's safer to get both, huh? Okay, thank because you. if we, without tradition, you don't get this and you can't go in, right. anyhow. <laughs> okay? Yes. Uh, both are valid. Both are valid. Yeah? But, um, yeah, many people get initiation uh, before, before the real initiation. 
I mean, most people get initiation anyhow, the minute you want it. It's just that some realize it, some do not realize it. Some see it clearly, some remember the five names, and some don't. So it is better to join us also, since you are initiated anyhow, you know, or let the law be done, just like Jesus said. Huh? He was initiated, he was enlightened, but he still let himself be baptized by a lower level of saying, like John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was very humble. He said, I'm just a preparing voice in the wilderness for the Great One to come. You see what I mean? So just let it be, all right? <laughs> Next one. Yeah, whoever got the microphone, speak, yes. Thank you. Oh, I'm from Peru. Peru, uh, yeah. Um, I want to ask you something about the sound. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I want to know, because uh, there is a physical sound also inside. I mean, the inner physical ear vibrates, always mm-hmm. has a vibration, uh, which is very clear. So, for instance, when you go to a, a, a musical performance or a place where there is an, a lot of noise, and then you go back to your house, and then still your inner physical ear is, is um, ringing, vi- ringing yeah. right? So. This is very similar to the sound I'm listening when I do this uh, Quan Yin. So I wonder, uh, is this the spiritual sound uh, we are supposed to concentrate in, or this is just the physical vibration of the inner ear? <laughs> the inner ear doesn't have physical. The, the inner physical ear, sorry. Is, is, is <laughs> this? Know. You see, the reason why you have your ears ringing after you went to the concert or something like that, was because you're very concentrated during the concert. You enjoy it so much. You concentrate on one thing, you see? And it's a concentration that brings about this sound inside. So it's also a spiritual sound. But uh, even not uh, only a concert, but could be a party, for instance. I remember when I was young and uh, the yes, parties yes, were very uh, noisy. Yes. I went back home and then pff, such a, a vibration inside. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, oh, you go to the mountain when it's quiet and then you feel relaxed and tranquil. Then also you hear the sound too. So, because it's a natural thing. It should be that way. When we are purified and clean and quiet, you know, the sound will appear. But uh, with the uh, initiation, it's quicker and it's more permanent, and it goes more and more, you know? It gets uh, deeper and deeper and stronger, and then it lifts you up from the physical body. Yes, so it's an even uh, sound, so it's okay. Now, one point uh, more, when I also, uh, uh, some years ago, I used to meditate in another group, um, uh, some other kind of, of uh, sound uh, or vibration uh, came out, like sort of bells or something like mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. very strong sometimes. Yes. Well, I stopped that uh, practice with that group for many years, and this sound disappeared completely. Yes. So the, the other one remains, the one I mentioned before. Yes. But sometimes when I concentrate deeply, this second sound which I had when I meditated before arises very, very low. I think it's more interesting because it's like bells or something. Mm-hmm. Like. So, what uh, uh, what would I be supposed to do uh, to try to search this second sound like bells or both or what? Just concentrate on that until it gets louder, and then go above that even later. Okay, mm-hmm. bell is not the highest sound. During the time when you meditated with that group, because of the group energy and the concentration, it helped you to hear the bells. You went out of your body. But it's not a very high level. It's already very good. Okay? Yeah. How many more people? Raise your hand for me to count. Rise up. One, two, three. Okay, that's it. Okay, and then we go for lunch. One, two, and then three. Thank you, Master, for being able to meet you and talk to you today. It's one of the best Christmas gifts I ever got. Oh, no like problem. Anytime. Um, the question I'd like to ask you um, is concerning the concept of to do without doing. Mm. Uh, when I meditate, uh, for the time that I meditate, for that period, I feel very tranquil and very calm. And after that, I seem to slowly get caught up in the world, as mm. probably we all do. Uh, is to do without doing something that we should be working towards, or is it something that comes more naturally the more we meditate? It will come naturally. It already comes. 
Now you do a lot of things, but you don't know you're doing it. You see? Yes. Just like you tell me, oh, Master, you came to my house and you rescued me this and you did me that. And I don't know anything about it. I cannot claim any credit. I just can't say, oh, okay, God helped you. God has worked through me or God does it. And so when you meditate, you radiate a kind of calm energy, blessing field. Yes. And whoever's around you or in your town is benefited somehow. You're doing a lot of things already and you don't know. That's doing without doing already. See, you don't have to concentrate on anything. But in a physical sense, doing without doing is like this. Like you see somebody needs help for charity and you give. But you do not cling to that experience and say, oh, I give him $10. Get attached I, to it. Yeah, 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 dollars. things like that. Then it's also in a sense you could work toward that. Okay? Otherwise, doing without doing is in a higher purpose, higher sense. Are you healed without healing? Huh? You see without seeing, do without doing. Automatically, you don't even know. And that's the best, because we don't have an ego even to know. If you don't know, that means you still have an individual self, but we are one with the universe. Okay? Great. Yes. Great. Thank you. Next one, please. Who was it? Yes. Now the lady. <laughs> Ah, I thank you for your patience. Je parle en français. Yeah, si. Mm -hmm. Ok. <rire> euh, j'ai parlé hier. Euh, j'ai fait un témoignage. Puis euh, je vous avais dit que je m'étais égarée. Puis c'est vrai. J'ai été en contact avec. Euh, avec qui? Avec une personne qui me qui a fait des. Euh, J'étais, j'étais inconsciente de, de la, qu'est-ce qu'elle faisait. À l'intérieur de moi, c'est comme si ça me disait qu'elle faisait euh, la force euh, négative. Oui. Hmm, pourquoi Moi, j'étais inconsciente de qu'est-ce qu'elle faisait. Hmm. Ah non. Okay, you translate for a while. I, um, I said earlier that um, I got lost for a while and um, I got to know someone and felt something very negative inside. Mm. And, and she's uh, conscious of what he's doing inside. And, right, right, and she's aware of what's going on inside. But what is he doing then? Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? To tell you. Qu'est-ce qu'il fait? Je pensais que c'était terminé. Terminé maintenant? No, I thought it was over. C'était... C'est leur venu parce que, au lieu d'attendre le son, à un moment donné, quand je m'emmenais dans le passage, j'ai entendu un son de la côté gauche. I hear the sound from okay. the left side. I, I thought it was over, but when I do the sound, I hear the sound from the left side mm -hmm. now. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a comme question? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a comme ta question? Je voulais que vous m'aidiez à enlever cette force-là. I need your help to remove this. Qui, this uh, qui m'empêche d'avancer parce que j'ai un voile. Tu vois plus? Tu vois plus de la lumière? Ou quoi? Qu'est-ce que tu vois? Je vois noir, je vois. Je vois oh. black, yeah. T'as vu? C'est tout? Tout noir? Tout noir, j'entends pas le son, j'entends pas rien. I can't hear the sound, I don't see anything, I'm in, I'm in the dark. Huh? Every time. I don't see the sun and I'm in the dark, it's, oh. it's like a veil in front of okay. me. Ça va aller. Oui. Mm. Ça yeah, it will be. It will better. be fine. Yeah. Mm. Ça va mieux après. It will okay. get better. And you concentrate and meditate now. Concentre mm. toi et médite. Who else? There's the last one, right? <laughs> yes. You meditate for a while. Huh? Avant, avant, avant. avant de avant de, de partir, avant d'aller déjeuner, reste là où tu es et médite en silence. Everybody else can do. And the two uh, black person, if one can stay here, uh, one to go can go. Everyone else leave. Qu quietly. Mm. Thank you. Master. Yes? I think I had the same experience. All right. <laughs> <laughs>